This is posted on Medium, how Elon Musk's Starlink could disrupt the telecommunications industry. So Elon Musk, he's, it's, it's stars, it's space, it's, it's SpaceX. Uh, it's not Mars yet, but things are happening. They just launched those guys up to the space station. And obviously Starlink is another piece. It, everything is not known about exactly what Starlink will be. Ha, what a name, though. Mm -hmm. Starlink. It's very... Uh, it reminds me of like a 90s... Sci-fi movie? Yeah. Cyber like thriller? That. Yeah. Like well, e what did they call it in Terminator, which I referenced earlier? They called it Skynet. Skynet, yeah. Starlink, Skynet. I mean, the same thing. Obviously, I'm not saying that they're going to be the same thing, but it has that same type of vibe to it. So this, this author, Derek David, has written about how possibly how uh, SpaceX, SpaceX's partnership, their potential partnership with a company called VizLink, who's based in Florida, could result in a telecommunications option that's strictly satellite-based and could disrupt the telco uh, industry, companies like Verizon, AT&T, and so forth, by delivering his reference here, 233 megabytes per second anywhere, including, again, his examples, the Philippines, on a beach in the Philippines, or under a palapa in Uganda. And the reason he used those examples is because uh, those those markets typically un have have unreliable connections, or you're more likely to experience unreliable connections there based on the, the standard ground based infrastructure that exists. Once you get up into space, well, once you got satellites floating about, well, now you're not so worried about where you happen to be on the globe. You can position that thing, link up to it, bingo. And the argument here is that increasingly our connectivity is uh, becoming a utility, uh, an indispensable utility, that being connected could at some point be a necessary thing for a human trying to exist in the world, hmm. that that could be a possibility, and, and that some people in certain nations are at a pretty severe disadvantage when it comes to connectivity for the time being. And, and this could expedite the process of people getting cheaper, faster internet. Of course, you know, a telco is probably not too happy about it. And it makes you wonder why they didn't approach it sooner. Mm -hmm. And there's probably a tremendous amount of complexity involved in, in actually executing this, this thing. But this guy thinks he's going to do it. Elon, Elon Musk has no shortage of fans, so I'm sure there's a lot of people that think that he can do it. But uh, this kind of is this 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 kind of encompasses many of his personal interests, including space and technology. And so it's just kind of a side project for now. The guy's got so many so many stinking projects. Mm -hmm. I mean, guys like you and I were trying to figure out what we're gonna make for dinner, and. Yeah. Starlink is just a side dish over here. He's a busy beaver. Cybertruck, SpaceX, uh, Neural, Neuralink. Remember Neuralink? Uh, I'm, I'm probably missing. He just had a baby. But, you know, listen. If you if you map your life accordingly, you got smart people around you. You hire... I, you know how many smart people are working on SpaceX? Like, it, it always mm -hmm. comes back to people saying Elon Musk. And I'm sure even if you asked him, he would say, oh, this guy and this guy and that guy's doing this amazing thing. And that's one of the things. You, you continue to approach interesting things. You attract talented people who want to do the same thing. Yeah. So this is just one of those projects. But that is a cool concept. Connectivity, absolutely, anywhere and everywhere. Unless... You're one of these people, connectivity is too much and stressing you out. You need to disconnect. Mm. Now you can't get away. Beaming at you. TikTok is just yeah. hammering your eyeballs. Uh, you're in the forest. You're trying to catch a break and yeah. broadcasting. It's right back at Beamed you. straight onto the bark of the tree. Yeah. Can't escape it. That's some Black Mirror type moment. But there's no shortage of Black Mirror type moments on this podcast. No. Kind of place we go sometimes. Mm-hmm. Healthy every so often. Oh, yeah.